Oh yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's it, it had it before, so I just ended up uh, doing it again. So what I'm doing is <clears throat> I'm going on the um, uh, port side of the hull all the way to the back, and then we're. No, there's, <clears throat> no. These holes are always, they're, they're, they're always pretty clean. Um, you know, sometimes there's like little scrapes or whatever that will uh, just put a little filler. Now I'm just going along the starboard side, all the way up to the bow. Okay, so I'm done with that. No, um, what I could do is... Up on the boat. So if I open up the forward hatch, you can look inside there and see pretty clean fiberglass all in a hole with no patchwork. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. So, so I'm showing you the floor. What it is is it's um, all grit. What they do is they put a 3M um, flooring on it. It's a sticky uh, backed flooring with sand. And uh, so we pull up all the tape, you know, the, the flooring, get it down to its bareness, and then uh, tape out the lines of what the original pattern was. And uh, then we throw some all grip 2 on there. And then we sprinkle the silica sand, let that set overnight, and then we hit it again with another coat. So, um, no, it's it's um, it's a good it's a good texture to where you know even with water on it you don't slip and stuff, and you know it will last for 12 years as opposed to two years. All right, done with that. Okay. Okay. No. No, there's a... Well, the only missing gauge is the, mar the marine gear oil temperature because this one has a, um, a Bravo X1 drive. It doesn't need a transmission. Where some of these applications actually came with a Conrad. So, um, so I'm, sh I'm showing you all the gauges right now. And then I'm showing you, I put a brand new helm in it yesterday. That's a um, C, yeah, it's, it's a C Star HH5271 with a little filler. And then I put on the destroyer wheel with a Brody knob, which uh, just gives you a lot better maneuverability with the boat. So, and then it's got a brand new West Marine VHF uh, 680 radio with a DSC. And then I'm showing right now the Garmin uh, 441S, which is brand new with a color chart plotter. And it also has the fish finder. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just powering up the Garmin right now. And then what I'll do is uh, pull up the backrest. And then I'm going to show you the rear part. So as I lift up the box, um, show you the drive shaft. There's a brand new Rulemate 2000 gallon per hour uh, pump. Uh, two new battery box. Yeah, two new battery boxes with two brand new um, Group 24 um, 1000 CCA batteries. Um, you know, there's. I'm basically just going to be looking at the drive shaft, and you can see that there's. And you know, everything looks pretty new. I, I replaced the rear carrier bearing, the gimbal bearing, um, the U joints, and the drive, which are two hundred and fifty-five dollars a piece because they come from Italy. Um, the forward carrier bearing. I also replaced the torque plate because it was a little corroded, and um, that sets it off a little bit off of balance. So those are like three hundred bucks. Um, replaced the lower end seals, uh, the oil in the drive. Uh, stuff like that. So, let me close this. Um, I'll show you the drive right now. The drive has all its original paint, 
and its original stickers on it. So it has not, it, it doesn't sit in the water. And it's got a stainless steel PowerTech prop, so those are about 800 bucks. All right. It's a Merc Cruiser Bravo X1 drive. Yeah, it's a Bravo 2 X1 drive. It's a diesel drive. They're capable of up to 500 horsepower. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put them up that high, but um, you know, 210, 210 is actually uh, not bad for it. So, um, you want me to put water to it? Reach down here and turn on the hose. I turn on the hose. Work comes out of the seat port there. Make sure my manual pushes down. And let's see, drive down. So I'm going to the back so you can see there's no smoke. Water's coming out of the drive. I'm going to stop this video for a second so it's not too long. 